Rhode Island. Um, I grew up in Providence, and I currently live in Pawtucket. I'm um, a first-generation Cape Verdean American, so my parents, uh, my mom and dad, was born in Cape Verde, which is islands off the west coast of Africa, and I've been there a couple times. I uh, used to visit, it's a beautiful country. Uh, I received my BS from the University of Rhode Island in Civil and Environmental Engineering, and um, I always had a passion for water quality specifically in engineering. Uh, growing up in Pawtucket, uh, this is Slater Mill, so this is the first industrialized <coughs> mill that was built in America. So my house is probably like 10 minutes from here. So uh, I lived next to the Blackstone River, which was one of the most polluted rivers in America at one point. Based on the mills and the industry, they had like a lot of dyeing factories because they did a lot of cloth. So growing up, I was always hearing about the problems that we had with the Blackstone River. And also, our pipes were very archaic. So we always had drinking water ordinance, like, oh, you can't drink the water, you must boil it. So I'm like, I live in America, why do I have to boil my water all the time? So it just really uh, it brought the attention of water quality and the issues with water. And uh, that's just how my passion for water quality really came to be. So I got my BS at the University of Rhode Island. And I'm currently getting my master's at uh, Mizzou, University of Missouri in Columbia. Uh, I went to Mizzou for a two-day um, exposure. And I met my professor who was uh, only one of two African-American engineering professors at my campus and I was lucky, luckily enough he had funding so he took me on and I'm currently getting my master's there. Uh, it's pretty interesting coming from the East Coast and going to Missouri. Uh, a lot of my friends currently own shotguns and drive pickup trucks so it's a little different living on the East Coast than moving to the Midwest. Um, so some of my research, I'm currently looking at stream and wetland connectivity using geographic information systems. Uh, and looking at specific water quality parameters. So it's funded by the EPA, and one of our stipulations was we could not collect any data. So I have to data mine from a lot of different government organizational websites like uh, EPA Store It and USGS websites. And I downloaded this data, uh, put it in an Excel format, and uploaded it to Geographic Information Systems, which is just an online mapping tool, or um, I'm specifically using ArcGIS. So I download a bunch of different mapping layers looking at Missouri and the different streams that we have. And the goal is to try to determine a methodology to determine if we can say that streams and wetlands are connected chemically, uh, hydrologically, or biologically. The importance of this connection allows wetlands to be regulated under the Clean Water Act. So if we're able to determine this connection, then uh, we're able to save specific wetlands in Missouri that provide a lot of ecosystem services uh, like flood protection and um, they remove a lot of nutrients. So that's the overall goal of the project. Um, it's a lot of GIS and a lot of data mining. Uh, my professor specifically looks at water quality, so he also has me including a part of my thesis. I really don't know how it connects yet, but he wants me to look at drinking water facilities and trying to um, fingerprint different natural organic matter in the different stages of a drinking water facility. So this is using uh, different fluorescent spectroscopy to look at organic matter at the different stages in a drinking water facility because if there's too much uh, organic matter in your water, that's how you create disinfected byproducts which are cancerous, but um, you have to drink like thousands of gallons a day, but still the EPA does regulate these. So um, we're looking at trying to fingerprint this in order to reduce the amount of disinfection byproducts that are formed in drinking water. One minute left? Oh my god, okay. So, um, um, a little bit about me. I was part of the National Society of Black Engineers. Uh, I've been involved with them since 2007. Uh, I really like being part of NSB. There's a lot of community service parts of it, and I get to like tutor students at a local church I go to. Um, it's allowed me to gain a lot of leadership experience. Uh, my goal, short term, I'd like to present, oh, I did present at two research conferences this semester. I would really love to be involved in a research publication uh, and successfully defend my thesis in May. My long-term goals are to receive my PhD, get a professional engineering license, become LEED certified. And uh, my greatest accomplishments are usually when I'm serving others. So this is a picture of me at a National Society of Black Engineers um, conference. I was the pre-collegiate pre initiative chair, so I was um, running the different high school programs for kids. So I, this is Syracuse University chapter, and they're like middle school and high school kids. 
And, um, okay, I guess I'm done. She said, I'm over. <laughs> but yeah, oh, one more picture. And, uh, and this is Cape Verde. Uh, I went there and I did a quick research project where I looked at their drinking water at the in their homes pretty much, and I tested for fecal California. It was pretty cool. So that's it.